Hi viewers, just want to do this quick video on how to make a uh, ground cable to ground your rig. So you can just get an old jug cord or any old cord that you're not using. Alternatively you can purchase a plug that you can screw the ground wire to, which will make it a lot safer. You won't have to worry about dealing with the other wires, but I'll show you how to do that anyway. I used an angle grinder with a metal cutting disc and I cut the unused pins off the jug cord and you can break off the pin if required. So you can celastic or tape the pins to insulate them. That's basically just for peace of mind because if you do things right at the other end of the wires um, should be all good. So you cut the jug plug off or the, um, the end that you're not using. Strip the outer casing of the cable and then cut each wire at different lengths. Ensure that you make the earth wire the longest as this is what you'll attach your earth terminal to. I'm not sure what colour it is in other countries but in Australia um, the earth wire should be green or green and yellow. Test with a multimeter set to continuity if you're unsure which is the earth wire. Attach one lead of the multimeter to the plug pin and the other end to the ground wire. The multimeter should beep to indicate continuity of the circuit. Tape the ends of the spare wires to isolate and insulate each wire. Select a suitable ring terminal that will fit an existing screw or bolt on your rig at a location point that you plan to use as your earth. Crimp it onto the earth wire and solder in place if possible. Now you can insert the spare wires back into the outer casing and apply insulation tape up to the terminal. Now your earth cord is ready to plug in and attach. You can either attach your terminal directly to either your pedals or your wheelbase. If your rig is entirely metal you should be able to just connect it to any part of your rig and theoretically it should earth your components through their respective mounting bolts. For a better connection you should scratch off any paint at the uh, connection point to ensure there's a good earth. If you're still having EMI issues, you can make a jumper wire that has a ring terminal each end and connect the end to your connection point. For example, one of your pedal mount bolts and the other to one of your wheelbase mounting bolts. Connect the power plug with the single earth pin to a power point. I have mine connected to the same power point that powers my wheelbase and I cable tied the two cables together. So once I uh, made this cable and fitted it, the cable fixed an issue on F1 2021 where I would have no force feedback when I'm um, starting the game for a session so I would have to disconnect and reconnect the wheel to fix the problem. Alright guys so I've got my multimeter here uh, I've got it set to continuity so the way to test that is just with your leads. So I've got my earth cord here so I'll just put any end it doesn't matter which one and if I put it on the end of the the other end, or I've got it attached down here. You can tell the signal there. Also, there's a bit of paint scratched off here. So I know that there is signal getting through, but when I check it at these mounting points for the pedals, there's nothing. So that's a bit disappointing. So it's not even really working at the pedals anywhere. Um, we know there is some connection getting through to some parts. Obviously I'm not real sure how um, how much of a signal this does pick up so there is potentially the signal getting through at some places but um, Probably to be certain, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and move the, uh, the location up to one of the mounting points. So at least I know my pedals are getting grounded and then I probably will run a wire from that point. Run it up with this cabling and put it up under one of the mounting screws for my wheelbase. So yeah, that's something you can do is um, just test it that way. Hope this video helped you guys. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Also let me know if you've uh, made one of these yourself and um, let me know how it goes.